Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So, guys, we are all familiar with the term Illuminati, and we are all familiar with the pyramid, the capstone, the eye, the all-seeing eye. We know that they control the banking system. This is how they control us. This whole system that we have is not even their system. It's somebody else's system, but it's governed at the lower levels by the Illuminati. The Illuminati are not the all-seeing eye of the pyramid. Um, not really. There are higher powers that are really running these things. As we see Novus Ordo Seclorum, and we have our New World Order, which is going to an all-new level around us right now. And what we need to realize is that there are higher powers under... Well, the Illuminati are under the control of these higher powers, these other beings. And this battle that we're looking at doesn't just extend here on Earth. This extends out throughout the galaxy and throughout multiple dimensions. It is it is here on the 3D plane. It's also on the 4D astral realm. And it extends even higher. And it extends outwards as well. So this is truly a spiritual war. And let's define that you know let's define things because we all too often we just say words we don't even understand what the words mean as we had talked about anarchy for instance and you know it's negative connotations but in reality it's talking about a society in which we wouldn't be ruled from above or controlled by a select group and we have control going on at multiple levels as we see the queen and we see the Pope. These are tools of the powers that be. And they have controlled us through religion, through manipulating us in a fear-based manner. And they control us through politics. Those are two main things, of course, with the financial system. But they also get into the social structure. They control us through music, through movies, through so many things, through divide and conquer. It is the modus operandi of the controllers of the Illuminati. And so, who are the ultimate controllers? Well, they're the Orion group, or this grouping of beings, which is known as the Orion group. And we see references to this all over the place. You see the, the belt of Orion right here. And the three stars, which the pyramids, the three great pyramids of Egypt, are lined up exactly like that. As are the three great pyramids of Teotihuacan. So this is in reference to this group. Well, who are these beings? Well, it's the dragon. It's the serpent, if you want to talk in biblical terms. Now recognize that the biblical terms are very, very limited. They had a limited framework to work with. So now we can understand that there are beings that are out there that come from elsewhere. And they are controlling our planet. And they are controlling our reality. And they are imposing their will on us. And this is the reality that we find ourselves in. As you see, uh, the reptilians here, Alpha Draconis, their warrior class, they're feared in the universe. And yes, they are watching over us. And they have others that are doing their dirty work as well. Tall grays, short grays, all types of grays, some Zeta Reticulans, not necessarily all. As we see these beings, and there's other ones under their power and sway as well, including some that we would think look angelic. You know, there are some Nordic types that have been conquered by the reptilians and do their work as well. So there are many out there, and these beings are able, they have advanced technology where they are able to manipulate the ether and manipulate uh, the different densities. They mostly are lying on the fourth density, although some are in our 3D and able to lower their vibration to come into 3D, as well as some are up in the higher dimensions as well. 
Now these beings are most definitely, as the law of one would say, they are service to self. They're all about serving their own purposes. They view everybody and everything as assets. They, they don't recognize the divinity that lies within. Instead, they use whatever they can as a resource. So again, it's the Orion group that is ultimately who we are in this battle against. And you could look at it in biblical terms if you want, as the symbolism of the dragon, you know, and, you know, we could reference all the biblical stories about Archangel Michael slaying the dragon or St. George and, you know, recognize the bigger picture of what's going on here. Alpha Draconis, the Orion group. And they're very hierarchical. And so what the system that we have is a system that's reflected in them because this is where the system comes from we we talk about the word draconian draconian systems what does that mean it means you know basically it's all about use and use or be used and truly this group is a satanic force in that it has a predatorial ideology that uses females as slaves or breeders while seeking territorial dominion on other planets in other densities as well with, uh, within their warring and killing culture. They're all about this. Think about Rome, the Colosseum of Rome. It was sport to watch people kill each other. It was sport. And this is their mindset. This is their system. Also in their system, there's basically the elite and there's slaves, and there's nothing in the middle. And that is what we have going on in our world right now. The elite, and then everybody else is being pushed into that bottom tier where everybody is basically going to be a slave serving the elite. Now, the elite, obviously their lives are soft and cushy because they are willing to do the will of these dark, dark entities. And so this is all part of it, as well as AI is a tool. And perhaps even AI in some levels is even using uh, the Alpha Draconians as a tool in the higher realms. So they use mind control. We've heard of MK Ultra. Everything that our governments are imposing on us right now, uh, from the banking system to the MK Ultraing to mind control to nanotechnology, uh, weather modification, it's all right there. If you believe in a belief system of fear and punishment, and that is what motivates you to do right, then you're falling straight into their programming. This is their programming. Debt enslavement is how they control us through the banking cartels. And so additionally, there are Nordics that are blonde looking humans from Orion. They're also predatorial as well. And this species is responsible for spreading racism, genetic discrimination, genetic experimentation, such as the Nazi ideology. Think about what they were doing, all the experiments they were doing, what the Nazis were doing. And the Dracos are very capable shapeshifters, as are, um, well, there's greys that can basically switch density and you know be here and then be gone and these beings are very very real and we have tremendous potential in us as we have over 22 different strands of dna from all different types of beings in us so we are a gold mine for them and we are a gold mine that's being mined right now and this is from the law of one about the orion group so, you know, the law of one, many believe, is a very, very true, purposeful, great source of information. I've gone through it three full times, three complete full times, and then also picked apart at pieces of it. And it does feel like it's very, very accurate to me. It resonates, as it resonates with so many others as well. All things we should be viewing with uh, discretion as well. Always take things with discretion. See if they resonate with you. So the questioner says, you, you said that the Orion was the source of some of the contacts with UFOs, especially when it comes to abductions. Can you tell me something of that contact? And so, 
you know, this gets into it and, and it talks about Hitler as being an example of, you know, a contactee of the Orion group and was manipulated by them. And he obviously resonated with them. And we know what happened with that. It's there's some fascinating stuff in here. And again, this is the law of one society. And there's videos where you could actually listen to it and just, you know, that's what I did for a year was basically listen to it 20, 20 minutes or so before going to sleep. And uh, a lot, often, you know, each, each session was about 20 minutes typically, but often I'd find myself staying up for hours because it was so fascinating. So he talks about the density of the Orion group. And he also talks about the Confederation, which is the good guys, which are also out there. Um, now, the Orion group, like the Confederation, the densities of mass consciousness which comprise that group are varied. There are very few third density, very few that are fully flesh and blood like us. And then you have a larger number that are fourth density. And fourth density is basically like the astral plane when we're sleeping. And a similarly large number of fifth density. So they are even up on 5D, you know, which we are in the process of ascension. And then there's very few sixth density because you can only go so far with service to self, whereas service to others will lead to service to self, but it will lead to a higher path, a higher plane of existence. So when you get up to a certain level, these entities can get up to a certain level and then they kind of hit a closed door and they just can't really go higher. So they're actually trapped and they're not going to be able to go where we can go. So their numbers are perhaps one tenth of the Confederation at any point in space time continuum. As this, the problem of spiritual entropy causes them to experience constant disintegration of their so social memory complexes. Their power is the same as ours. And it, it's interesting to look at this. But service to others results in service to self, thus preserving and furthering harmoni further harmonizing the distortions of those entities seeking intelligent infinity through these disciplines. Those seeking intelligent infinity, which is what they're calling source, God, through the use of service to self, create the same amount of power, but as we said, have constant difficulty because of the concept of separation, which is implicit in the manifestations of service to self, which involve power over others. So you can only go so high, and ultimately we end up on the higher paths, we will end up merging back with the Godhead, you know, with Source. But because of their mindset, they are cut off from it. And so this is an interview with Alex Collier. And this is from Starseed Alliance, which is a smaller channel. Um, but check them out. And I just want to play this for you guys. Because I think so few people are exposed to this. And really, when you start looking at all these things from this perspective, study the world's history, and listen to the contactees, it all makes perfect sense. It's very, very clear. The agenda of the Grayskin Zeta Reticulus. Okay. Number one, I would like to say that, you know, there's a lot of confusion that not all reticulants are evil. There are some reticulants that are incredible healers that are incredibly benef benevolent. Unfortunately, most of them are getting a bad rap right now because of what the greys are doing and, and you know there are five different subspecies of greys. May I interject here for a moment? I, I've heard the phrase long nose grey um, describing their physical those are not Those are not the benevolent reticulants. Okay. The benevolent reticulants look like children. So the, the non-benevolent benevolent ones are the long nose greys? That's correct. That's what I thought. That's correct. Okay. Um, and you know there's, there's a lot of information uh, that's being some people are experiencing real benevolent experiences with them or they're told that they're experiencing benevolent when in fact they really haven't they just have maybe haven't been regressed or, or taken deeply into their subconscious to know what is happening um, they're, they're incredible masters of mind manipulation but anyway their race is dying they have been so genetically altered by the Orion group that they cannot reproduce so 
They were told by the Orion Group to come down in here, to come in here, this is how it's been related to me, to come in here and set the stage to break down the social structures so that when the Orion Group and the Draconans come back, there are two classes, royalty and workers, which is exactly what they're doing. Have okay, you seen that agenda happening right in the United exactly. States since the beginning of the Reagan well, administration? This is, this, is, this is where the focus has been. It's been on the United States, singly. And there's been a reason for that, which we'll cover just a little bit, and let me get my thoughts out here. Um, which is exactly what the Grace have been told to do. And they're doing it. In the meantime, they themselves have their own agenda. They see us because of our genetic stock of having the DNA of 22 different races and the racial memories of trying to breed, to cross the, the, uh, the genetic bridge so that they as a race can have enough genetic stock to continue to propagate their race, which according to the Andromedans, they're destined for extinction. What they're doing is not going to have any long-term effects to propagate their race. So they're desperately trying to do what it is that they're trying to do before all the other two groups get here. Um, the, the Greys also themselves want to be free from the manipulation of the Orion group, just like we as a race want to be free of, of their manipulation. So there's this incredible triangle of, of crap that's hanging all over us, you know, and all these hidden agendas and, and uh, 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 just uh, brainwashing and, and bizarre belief systems that are being thrown at us you know, um, when they should all leave. Not only the good ones and the bad ones, they should all just leave and leave us alone. Which is ultimately what the Andromedans want. Um, but unfortunately, that isn't going to happen right now. Uh, not until some changes occur. Um, we have to raise, so, begin to raise our consciousness. Right, we need to. Right. And the first thing we need to do is we need to stop warring with each other. We need to come together as a race, and no matter what happens, we need to stop all of the political garbage and say, look, when it comes down to the bottom line, all we have is each other as a race. Period. And this is our planet, this is our home, and there's enough of us that are polluting the planet that we need to stop. Because if we don't stop polluting the planet, we're not going to have a place to live. Period. So I'll, I'll give you the link so you guys can watch the rest of this. But the manipulation we see is all for, all around us. And, you know, our politicians, you know, they're basically under the control of these beings. And they don't have our best interest in mind. It's obvious they don't. They wouldn't be spraying us like they spray us. They wouldn't be using everything that they're using to keep our consciousness down. They're just serving their masters. And in doing so, they're destroying us, they're destroying the planet, and, you know, they're ruining everything in sight. So I wanted to just share that with you guys. So please do, uh, you know, give thumbs thumbs up for Starseed Alliance as well. And as always, guys, I want to, uh, and also I have a link here for Alex's um, uh, website. I want to thank you for your support on Patreon and Ko-Fi, because you keep us going since, you know, the main channel is demonetized by this draconian system and that's what it is draconian and uh make sure you're subscribed to this second channel which is going to be the first channel now ee arts as always my friends stay safe god bless and namaste